Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be doing this little tiny trick that will increase your frame rates in Linux. So let's get started. So this little trick only applies to Steam because we are actually gonna be changing the Proton version. Now Proton is their Wine library or their Vulkan library to run Windows games on Linux. So changing the version at times will definitely impact the performance on your game. For this test, we're actually gonna be taking a look at Nier Automata because it actually runs on Proton, but it also supports Linux. So we're gonna start off with that. In the initial version of Nier Automata, it actually runs Proton 3.7. So if you take a look over here, it actually runs pretty smoothly. So there are times that the frame rate actually drops down to 48 or 45, depending on the area and what you're doing at that time. All right, so now we're actually gonna switch the version of Proton to the latest version, which is 5.07 right now. By doing this, you have to right click on the game and then go down to properties and then force the version on the bottom. Then you can select the version that you want, which is the latest version, 5.07. Now hit okay, and then you can start the game all over again and you're gonna notice right around the same area, we're getting about 53 frames per second. That's about three frame increase just by switching the version. Depending on what game, some you might see a noticeable improvement, some just a minor improvement like this. Now these are the Proton versions that are actually shipped with Steam. There are other types of Proton versions, one of them which is Glorious Egg. Now I'm gonna show you over to his GitHub and he's done a lot of work to his Proton version which fixes a lot of issues between Warframe and F Audio and a bunch of other stuff. So check out his Git page to see what updates he made or what changes he made so you know how to configure your game. You can head over to his releases and download his latest version of Proton 5.6. So once you download this, which I already have downloaded, we're gonna navigate over to your home folder and go over to Steam. Now, if you don't see this folder, you press Control H to show hidden folders. And in there, you would go over to Root, and then there you would see something called Compatibility Tools. Now, if this folder is not there, you would have to create it. So don't, don't be shy if you have to create it. Once you create this folder, drop that folder in there. So you have to extract it and then drop whatever contents is in here. Once you're done with that, restart your Steam, and you will have a new option on the bottom on the Compatibility Tools. Now, head over to Nier Automata again, go over to Properties, and then switch the version, and you're gonna see Proton 5.6, and that's the one we're gonna be choosing. Now, if you can see from the gameplay right at the same location, it's actually one frame faster than 5.07. Now, I know that this game is not super optimized. I'm actually running an AMD 570 right now, and for a lot of other games, it should be running pretty quick, but Nier Automata is not that optimized, and I can't install the far mod on this, so that's what I'm stuck with. But just by changing the Proton versions, I was able to increase my frame rates without doing anything else. So give it a try on other games, see how it works. Again, Glorious Egg Roll came out with an amazing Proton version that fixes a lot of compatibility issues. So if you are running into issues just running games, try to use this version and see if it will run. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, heck till it hurts.